So if y'all don't know, I've had this channel for eight years. Now I know what y'all are about to ask. Were you trying to go viral for eight years straight? <laughs> that is not what happened. Okay, I was born in 2005, bro. Okay, so uh, let me just break it down. All right. So, I mean, you know, me and my friend, you feel me? He's probably watching this. Maybe not. But we both created YouTube channels when we were, like, very young. Probably, like, elementary school. And, like, we were literally just making videos for fun. Um, we would just record ourselves, like, playing Smash Bros or Mario Kart. You know, stuff like that. I mean, it wasn't nothing serious, man. We were just having fun, bro. You know, no type of editing, no type of like serious post schedule, you know, it was just two kids, you know, having fun. And although back then I did look up to people, you know, like PewDiePie or even Corey Kenshin, Jacksepticeye, you know, people like that. I was really in my head like, oh, yeah, I have to be a YouTuber. I have to make it on content. You know, it was kind of just awesome. I, I it would be pretty cool. You feel me? But um, I actually wanted to be an NBA player at first because I didn't really think content creation would even take off for real. So I was like, frick it, I'm going to just play basketball. And, you know, um, it was also encouraged by my brother and my brother, you know, because I am like, what, six foot right now, which is pretty tall for my family's average. You know, that's like five, eight, you know, so my parents, I mean, not even my parents, but my really, really my brother. I should play basketball and I actually wanted to play soccer at first but you know chose basketball didn't make it and I mean I got better but definitely was not feeling the passion for it anymore because it's just you know basketball does require a lot more than just like athleticism skill like you know I'm not gonna go deep into that maybe for you know in the future you know when I hit a million subscribers I don't know <laughs> But God's grace, but um, yeah, like as as I'm saying, like this was not my first, you know, course of action that I would want to achieve. Um, I was more like a I'm gonna make the NBA type of dude, and if not, then you know maybe YouTube, and that's pretty much what happened. You know, after I kind of lost passion for basketball since I wasn't really getting anywhere, I decided to just you know go full time trying to make it into YouTube. But at first it wasn't YouTube; it was streaming. So I would watch people like Flight Reacts, you know, Your Rage, I'm Dante. And it wasn't really until like even like Aiden Ross came into the scene that I actually really started to want to become a streamer. And that's what I did, you know. So I think it was junior year, maybe a little before I actually started to react to videos. Um, and before this, I wasn't really posting much content. I was just posting randomly, you know, didn't really care at that point. But I started to pick it back up. And and I ain't gonna lie, bro, after like a year and a half, I reached a thousand subscribers off of just reacting to videos. I actually did get a shout out um, by Kai Sinaf, y'all didn't know. It was in his Discord though, so I mean, it wasn't that too many people. It was probably like 500 people I've gained, you know. But um, everything else, man, I mean, it was really just me streaming and posting content consistently. A few videos got like a thousand views, you know, like it really was like my fan animations and then, you know, random videos here and there. And yeah, I got a thousand subscribers by college and you know, I was proud of myself, man. You know, back then I didn't really have a specific plan. I kind of just did. And I was having fun. I mean, I actually enjoyed when I streamed because I had like a small, tiny viewers, but they were funny. Like I enjoyed actually like streaming despite not having that many people watching, you know, and it would get tough sometimes, you know, just talking to myself. But at the end of the day, man, I was I was trying my best, bro. I was just going for it. I believed in myself, you know, you know, um, but then, you know, fast forward, I would say like. 2023 is when I stopped streaming because you know in college I didn't have good Wi-Fi and because of that I couldn't really like be consistent on my streaming schedule so I kind of just stopped streaming and I continue to focus on making videos bro um now when I made videos it wasn't like the typical you know reaction or even gaming anymore. It was more like IRL. I was like, okay, I'm going a, I'm to a try vlogging. I'm going to try some IRL content, you know? And that's what I tried to do. Um, And, like, the videos, honestly, were they did pretty good. They had, like, 100 views minimum. 
and I saw that as a good sign but like you know after a while it was kind of like one I didn't have a car so it was kind of hard for me to consistently get IRL content plus not having a cameraman I kind of just did everything myself but it didn't stop me but after a while I was kind of running out of stuff to really do and I didn't really want to become one of those YouTubers that were just creating a nuisance I didn't want to bother people you know but if y'all don't know it's kind of hard to get views unless you're doing anything that you know implies just creating problems like and no nothing to bash those types of youtubers but i just i didn't want to paint such an image for myself especially if i wanted to be known and i would show this to my family i, I didn't want to have like a you know a weird reputation of that so i kind of didn't enjoy doing it as much anymore because it's just not the type of content i wanted you know yeah i could have just vlogged myself doing regular stuff but let's be real bro like you know, like besides like my core community nobody was gonna watch that you know so i really had to decide like dang am i gonna continue doing this or am i gonna find something else to do so with that being said um one of my friends actually recommended me to start doing omegle edits and at first i was like this is kind of cringe <laughs> but and, you know what my friend told me was like hey bro sometimes you gotta do what's popping in order to you know get the views and i was like oh, i mean he's right you know if this is what gets the views then i'm gonna go do it so i started to do omegle edits okay and um you know it was pretty cool at first because like i actually got to like create cool cr transitions and i do like video editing um however this did include me like trying to talk to females and like it was cool like it was funny i guess but it wasn't something I wanted to be known for. Like I said, like I was probably getting like a hundred plus views per video, but it wasn't really enough for me to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this until something really hits. Plus, it was kind of a dying trend because Omegle literally got banned not too long after I started. And I ain't gonna lie, that had to be a sign from God or something, bro. I don't know. Cause how does Omegle get banned as soon as I hop on the trend, bro? All right so yeah that didn't really last too long i just stopped doing it and i had to find something else you feel me and with that i quite literally didn't know what to do i kind of just played a horror game see how that did tested playing the sims you know reacting to horror and like they did okay they didn't really do nothing extravagant so i was kind of just stuck i was like you know what what do I do? You know, I even did this eBay, which I actually won, and I thought it was gonna go viral, but it capped at like 240 views, and I'm just like, dang, you know. So at this point, I'm just like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You feel me? I even met up with a famous TikTok basketball female. I, right? um, I guess that's a, is that the correct choice of words? Basketball female? I don't know. She played basketball, and she was popular on TikTok. And that still capped at like what 841 views to this day, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, I was trying everything. I was getting out of my comfort zone. I was asking people to cameraman for me. I was doing all I was buying things just so I could use for the video, bro. Like, I'm telling you, I was really dedicated to this stuff, okay? But still, nothing worked. So I'm like, okay. And when I say nothing worked, I mean nothing really like boosted me. Like maybe I gained a couple subscribers and views, but it's like it wasn't enough that I would want to keep doing it at that same level. You feel what I'm saying? Because like it takes a lot of like, you know, it takes a lot of stuff to really get those types of videos out, specifically trying to record people. And it's like it's awkward at the same time. You're kind of risking your reputation if you do some weird stuff so i'm like i'm not about to risk all that just to not get them enough viewers you feel me like you understand like it just wasn't worth the risk bro so i was like you know what bro I'm, I'm gonna just go back to the gaming you know and i actually was gonna try to get on tekken because the game just came out and i was like hmm maybe i could become very good at tekken and people will start watching me you know um and i told my friend that um, but he told me that wasn't a good idea 
and the reason was he said the game was pretty much gonna die which he was right the game is pretty much dead right now i don't know anyone that even plays taken for real and he quite literally told me shortly that youtube is like a business man you know supply and demand you gotta find what people want to watch but also there is enough supply of you feel me and this led me to thinking for like a whole day just brainstorming like, okay okay what can i do that hasn't been done yet okay and that led me if any of y'all most some of y'all probably know me from this but i got reacting to andy talks because i would be scrolling on my tiktok page and i would just see anime tiktoks you know whether they're edits funny videos something of that sort you know i was like yo what if i just reacted to these and just recorded my reaction so i did that and the video flopped for like i think three days or four it, it was stuck at like what two three views but then out of nowhere it just it just went up like after like the sixth day it had like a thousand plus views i'm like holy crap i might just hit the jackpot so i'm over here thinking like this is the this is the beginning you know like i'm about to go crazy i post a second video does pretty good gets like 600 views i then post a tiktok clip not a tiktok clip but i post a shorts clip because you know he told me i should also start posting more clips so that's what i did i posted a shorts clip and i think like my second short went viral it got like 100k views now i didn't get 100k views off rip but it was basically growing right now i have three clips that have like over 500k views bro and those three clips grew me from a thousand to 700 subscribers <laughs> literally i think 600 i think 700 i'm not sure but either way you get the point it it, it grew me tremendously and at that point, I was just spamming clips. I made a whole TikTok, and those were also getting views. So I was making videos, clips, just dedicated to Andy Talks and then Lobotomy Kaisen. So most of y'all probably know me from that. That That is what happened. I quite literally just saw an opportunity, and I took advantage of it. Um, And it was going good. I mean, I'm telling each video is getting at least a 1,000 views minimum for like a whole month. But then, um, it just, it just stopped. I mean, I'm telling, like, it just, it just, I don't know what happened. Like, I posted a short, it had, like, zero views for, like, a day. Posting another short, four views. And then after that, it, it was kind of just, like, I was just struggling to get back up, you know? And then I had a video, you know, that said, like, 880k views right now. It's the, um... The King Soto reaction. So that video got me to like 6,000 to like, I think 8,000 right now. It's still growing slowly. You feel me? So, I mean, that, that video is still doing decent. Um, But that kind of helped, you know, build my momentum back up. But then again, it's just, it wasn't really consistent. Like, no, none of my Lobotomy Kaisen reactions were getting insane views. My shorts were very inconsistent. Some would get... 40 views max and then uh, randomly i'll get 10,000 views and it just it wasn't really like anything consistent and i was kind of wondering whether or not my content was good or not you know it was kind of like people kind of got tired of it i think and they stopped watching it and i'm not here to joe shade all right but there's this youtuber called jaw chicken i don't know if y'all know who that is but he also does those types of reactions and i'm not sure if he did it first all right, y'all can go look at whoever made the first, you know, reactions, but his be getting like 100K, you know, 20K. So I'm just looking at him. I'm like, bro, I'm doing the exact same thing. How is mine not getting as many views? And I'm doing this on a consistent basis. I wasn't even titling it the same, bro. So I was just wondering, like, what am I doing wrong? And it was just, this went on for months. I'm pretty sure like six months, bro. And this is like, I generally couldn't figure it out. So, um, at that point, you know, I kind of said, you know what, bruh, it's time to take a risk. And I just moved on to fully gaming. And that's what Spark and Zero came out. I said, you know what, I'm just going to post Spark and Zero gameplay. Um, and as long, I'm also going to do Sonic X Shadow. Cause you know, I was like, you know what? I actually enjoy playing games. So, I mean, 
um, I'm gonna try that out. And um, I mean, nothing really crazy happened, to be honest with you, bro. The videos were honestly pretty mid. They didn't really perform good. Um, the most views those gaming videos have is like 40 right now. Uh, I think that's the Kid Boo one. I'm not sure. And it was like, I was really putting in time. You know, I was really putting in time and effort editing. And I was really like trying. I was trying to find the best ways, you know, looking up all these videos for, you know, increasing attention span. Oh, the best ways to make thumbnails. I was even looking at other YouTubers from different niches. And I was trying to copy their style. But it just, nothing was really going crazy. I mean, I would post a TikTok and an IG reel. My IG reels were doing pretty good. Um, they were getting at least 3,000 views, but then it just stopped. And then TikTok, it never really did anything good. I posted the TikTok for the first time on it, and it got 3,000. And then after that, it just didn't get any more than 400. So I'm just like, dang. And then I don't want to talk about YouTube shorts. Yo, YouTube, if you're watching this, there's something wrong with your shorts, man. Because there's videos that are just stuck at zero views for no reason. And then I'll get a video, get 100 views. And then the video will go up to like 500. And then it's just like, it's just random. Like, I don't know. Like, I can lie, bro. The, the algorithm for YouTube shorts is just, I'm not sure, man. I mean, personally, I feel like they, they need to fix it. I don't think it's very, like, skill-based as people make it seem, bro. Like, I'm telling you, I'm making this exact same shorts. And it's just, like, the view isn't consistent. Like, the views are not consistent at all, bro. And it's just, I don't know. I don't really, I don't think I'm going to be posting as much shorts anymore. But maybe here and there just to, you know, show a preview of my videos. But honestly, man, it's just, I honestly just don't know what to do, bruh. And that's really what got me here. At this point, I was like, you know what, bruh? If I'm going to be averaging the exact same numbers, I might as well just make content that I actually enjoy making. And it's not something I have to stress over. Which leads me to this talking to the camera while posting up some gameplay of me <laughs> literally this is what i've concluded bro because um i've literally seen people put the camera up and speak and they're getting 100k views and i'm like bro i am dang near dedicating my whole day editing this video it is not even cracking 40 bro <laughs> and i did it for like at least two weeks now man i think i would at least see results by now bro but it just it's not working and i'm seeing other people that started youtube like three months ago blowing up i'm like dang like is it just me like am i just not like that entertaining of a person like i don't know bro but clearly there's people that enjoy my content because i would see people commenting i don't know why i'm just jumping here but um <laughs> yeah i would see people commenting under my videos like yo bro keep going i enjoy your videos and it's like dang i mean it must be like something I'm doing wrong, bro. Cause clearly people enjoy my content, but it's not getting pushed out. So here I am. This is my this is my final attempt, you know. So when I say I kind of gave up on going viral, I kind of mean I gave up on trying to like follow the biggest, you know, trend, trying to make the biggest video, trying to get the most views, like. All those clickbait thumbnails and titles and over exaggerated, you know, moments I would do, you know, with my mic and just saying the most outlandish stuff for clips. Like, I, I'm just done. It's just pointless. Like, I'm not about to do something for no reason. It's just. And don't get me wrong, it wasn't like I was forcing it. Like, I was kind of being myself, but it was just, it came to a point where it's like, it don't even feel fun anymore it kind of feels like i'm just trying my best to get attention and it just didn't feel fun it didn't feel natural it just felt so forced and it's like i'm just trying my best to just get viral no matter what and it's like bro like the whole reason i started youtube was simply because i wanted to just build a cool community and make a living off of doing what i loved bro that's literally it and honestly bro like if if i don't ever get to that point so be it but i just want to say man i don't care about going viral anymore bro and 
at the end of the day, bro, I'm going to just keep doing what I enjoy. As long as I can make some people happy, man. That's, that's all that matters, I guess, you know. <laughs> if I just end up being a regular dude that has a YouTube channel, it is what it is, bro. At the end of the day, bro, as long as I tried. That's all that matters to me, man. But um, that's pretty much it, bro. I just want to thank y'all, you know, for getting me to this point, man. Um, everybody that subscribed this far, I want to thank y'all, bro, for giving me the chance. Even the people that don't watch me anymore, thank you, you know. And um, from this day on, bro, I'm just going to make the content I want to make, you know. And hopefully, I can uplift people by sharing my thoughts and showing them my great, absolutely prodigy-like gameplay. And hopefully that'll be enough, bro. But um, yeah, about it. Hope you have the great rest of your day, man. If you do yourself have a dream, bro, it's okay, bro. I'm here with you, bro. It ain't easy, but <laughs> if it was easy, everybody would do it, so I can't get mad at it. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep doing this until I die, bro. And just see what happens. But with that being said, man, Jesus loves you, bro. I'll see y'all later. Peace.